probably almost mandatory if I'm going to demonstrate a Lloyd's boombox from the 80s that we get a little help from the movie Say Anything and Lloyd Dobler and his boombox and Phil Collins. Probably the most famous boombox scene in a movie ever. That's a good way to start the video, I think. Alright, let's start looking over all the unit. We have a couple of speakers here. This is actually a four speaker system, as the note on the handle points out. With the other speakers, you might be able to see those in there. Little piezo disc tweeters, one on each side. So I guess they can call it a four speaker system somewhat legitimately. We have our B cassette deck and our A cassette deck. This one records, this one just plays and you would use this one to play and dub on that. Um, we have our FM and AM dials in megahertz and kilohertz. We have some graphics here showing how you would record and dub B to A. We have two condenser mics. Up on the top we have stereo dual cassette, earphones, our function controls for our B deck, tone control, volume, our function controls for our A deck, uh, this is different because it has a record feature. We have our overall function setting for FM, AM, or tape. And we have a tuning dial and you can see our antenna there. Alright, looking around back we have battery compartment for six C cells. And we have a little information plate here. This is the Lloyd's V221 made in Taiwan and standard warning plate about don't get inside and our antenna is connected back here and that's about it for the back all right checking the uh, fm reception We'll just do a couple channels there. We don't need to do a whole band scan. Let's see, how about AM? And um Continue to go in. You have to do something different, and that different is you've got to deny the ball of the guy. Just a few sports and talk stations, as usual. We're dealing with a bunch of lunatics in North Korea. The game when somebody asked him about his stack. Programmatic or process. All right, we've uh, used the B deck, I think. The Phil Collins. Let's see, let's try my little walking tape on the A deck. As you're walking right now, you're flexing your muscles at least 1,500 times for every mile you walk. You're doing a great job. Tone and volume. Fast forward. I don't know if we 
test and reverse on this one. The soundtrack tape. Try a little dubbing. The blank tape in the A side. We'll put the walking tape in the B side. And turn the volume down since this is automatic level control. Play the B side. Record and play on the A side and when we play it back I'm going to take the tape out of here and put it in here to rewind it because rewind on this A side is just dreadfully slow and it stops and it starts and um, it's just frustrating to try and get to the end on a rewind so I'll take it out rewind it in the B deck which works fine and uh, listen to the results Alright, we'll stop the B side and eject that. You notice the record light was on too. We'll stop that. Eject it. Put this in here. And rewind. B's got a good strong rewind. And play. Good posture is important in ensuring good body alignment. deck rewound as good as the B deck does but boy it'll take all day to rewind half a side of a tape all right we've got a radio station on put a blank tape in record and play a little bit of Paul Simon apparently on the radio I was having trouble. Every radio station I was trying was playing Prince songs. I think it's an anniversary of his death or something. And Prince is one person you do not want to mess around with as far as copyright goes. So zero seconds recording and playback for Prince. All right, let's stop it. Switch the function selector back to cassette recorder. off the radio. You might have noticed I had to fiddle with this switch sometimes when I go to cassette. It's not exactly completely both channels. Sometimes that fades in and out and I gotta smack the function selector switch to really get both channels. So we've done dubbing, we've done off the radio. Let's try a microphone recording, see if it does that. And I've never tried this, so We'll find out together. Let me make sure 
that's rewound all the way. All right, radio's not on, so I won't record off the radio. There's nothing dubbing, so it won't be dubbing. So I guess by default, it'll have to do the condenser mics, won't it? All right, I'm trying out the Lloyd's 1980s boombox, which we started off with a little Say Anything Lloyd Dobler boombox from Phil Collins. Uh, radio recording works, dubbing works. Rewind on the A side that does not work well, well enough to even consider it working. So now we're going to take a attempt at the condenser mics. Let's see what we got. Oh, I hate switching these around every time I have to rewind. This won't be a commonly used boombox for me. Well, I wonder if the condenser mics work. Lloyd's 1980s boombox. No, I do. Which we started off with a little Say Anything Lloyd Dobler boombox from Phil Collins. Uh, radio recording works, dubbing works. Rewind on the A side that does not work well, well enough to even consider it working. So now we're going to take a Attempt at the condenser mics. Let's see what we got. All right, well, the condenser mics sounded the way condenser mics do. But that's all of the recording parts work. So we have our four speaker system from Lloyd's, been 1980s. Was this number here the V221? Oh, and I want to show you something else I didn't notice at first on the back when I was looking at this down in the lower right. It says it's a uh, designed by Iken. E I K E N. So I don't know who or where Icon was, but I hadn't noticed that before. So that's our Lloyd boombox with a little help from Lloyd Dobler, aka John Cusack, Peter Gabriel, and others. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Bye.